What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Collects. My name is Ryan and today we're going to get a successful hanger box opening that I don't throw away the recording because like you saw in the last video or if you didn't because it was basketball I have an actual camera holder now and not a stupid little tripod so I'm not going to be able to fit it in here but we do have a bird's eye view camera angle now which is sick in my opinion. We got six hangers. You see it in the thumbnail. Look at this. Six. Good sample size. Hangers are always bangers. And uh, let's get right into it. So I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay, let's get straight into this. I have the best luck with retail when it comes to hangers. Uh, I don't have much luck blaster wise. My dad does. But I do not have the best luck with blasters or even the mega or giant boxes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call them. But I'm super excited to open up some more hangers. It's been a little difficult to find these out in the wild, but we've been able to find them. So uh, let's get right into it. Of course, we're looking for Corbin Carroll. That's my main guy. And then who else are we looking for? Um... Oh, and there he is right there. Okay. And we will, of course, do a recap at the end of the video like we always do. Uh, looking for autos as well. Uh, I've had decent luck pulling autos out of hangers as well as relics and stuff like that. Cool relics. Um, looking for a nice numbered, honestly, or a rainbow foil or something like that. Haven't had too much luck on my parallels. Uh, really, I get lucky getting the good rookies out of every single box, though, it seems. It's just tough to get a decent, as we're getting a Tristan Casas. Um, Chrome stars the MLB, and it looks like we have a Hank Aaron on the blue 88 design. That's sick. So we'll put that in the better hits part. We have the all-star insert of Mookie Betts, Sal Frelick for the WBC insert. Then we have all of these cool stars of the MLB. I opened a hanger one time, and I think I already may have already told this story. It was for a video, but I didn't end up uploading the video because I didn't like how the video looked. And I got like nine stars of the MLB cards uh, in one, what's it called? One hanger. It just replaced a ton. It was a huge error box. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys have gotten out of the hangers. Uh, I haven't really gotten anything insane. I know out of Series 1 for, or Series 2, there's Senga. That's my guy. Um, for Series 2, Jordan Walker. Um, I got, what's it called, a Corbin Carroll Auto out of 199 It's currently up on eBay because I kind of want to get some extra cash coming up for Tox Chrome, and I feel like his prices are super high right now. And uh, I'm going to ride that gravy train as long as I can. But uh, Hangar 1, not too bad. Heading in to Hangar 2, I'm going to try not to make you all go deaf with all the plastic and stuff being ripped open and all that fun stuff. And of course we will do a recap of the major hits at the very end but if you didn't see the last video let me know what you guys think about the new camera angle i know it's a little different than having the display in the back uh, with the main hits and stuff or even just cards i want to put on display i kind of like it like this so i don't have to reach around a tripod uh, a million times and my shoulders get sore and all that so that's pretty cool to not have to do but just let me know what you think if you guys want me to go back to the original i hope not uh, i will but like I said, kind of hope not. So let that let that change your opinion just a little bit on what you reply. Right there's Josh Young, stud. I also uh, am looking into what hobby I should open for a video. Let me know because we always do series two and all that fun stuff. But let me know. I'm definitely going to be opening up a Chrome hobby and uh, on the 26th, whenever that comes out, we'll have that video. Next video coming up. And there's Francisco Alvarez, and there is a. Uh, Rosario Red rookie out of 199. Sweet. Really wish I could have got that of Corbin Carroll, but it's okay. And then we have a rainbow foil of Zach Grinky. Grinky, is it Grinky or is it Grink? I don't know. Babe Ruth All Star on the All Aces. Tony Gonsolin. And uh, I also pulled my very first gold image variation. It wasn't of any, it was of a card like this, pretty much. It's not an actual player but it was just like a moment and I, it's okay I mean I really would have rather there's Yonier but uh, I really would have rather have gotten it of 
a player, no matter really who it is. Um, but it's okay. There's Yoshida. I didn't know he was so old. He's like almost 30. Spencer Steer, there we go. Heating up a little bit. We're heating up in terms of the rookies that we're getting. Ohafi. Carlo. But yeah, uh, I'm really excited just to be opening up some more hangers because this is my favorite product. I would say I have better hits out of hangers than um, even just opening hobbies or something. I didn't open a jumbo for this series just because I heard, as I totally just folded my nail right there, but um, I didn't open up a jumbo of this one just because I heard and was told and saw pretty much from any opening I saw that the odds on the hobbies were a lot better but our hobby wasn't all that terrific look at that gnarly nail fold right there that sucks that didn't even hurt that just scared me a little bit but uh i think the next video that comes out will just be a video of my pc because i do that once a year i did it last year for the first time and i plan on doing it every year but um there's corbin carroll again there we go no crazy numbered hits, but we're getting we're getting the guys that we want, really. We're getting the guys that we want, and that's all we can really ask for. But yeah, the next one will probably be a video of my PC, and since we're doing baseball since then, because I didn't do baseball at the time, there's Outman, at the time that I did my last PC video, um, we will be able to include my Astros PC, which is awesome. It's not anything crazy, but it's stuff to put in the video, as we have another home run challenge. I have like 12 of these I need to redeem of Bryce Harper. So that's cool. Then we have a retail blue of Colin Moran. Rainbow foil of Mr. Adam Frazier. Not even in the camera. I'm still I'm still getting used to uh, having a bird's eye view. Still got to remember to keep it in the, what's it called? The frame, because I keep forgetting. And then I'll go off frame I keep forgetting to do all that, but yeah, I mean, no, nothing crazy yet out of here, but I am excited to do that PC video because I always like showing what I have, and I think that's something that a lot of card YouTubers don't do that open stuff. They should definitely show us, or Senga again, uh, definitely show us kind of what they have in their PC, Jordan Walker. Seems like the same order as that last one. Still want to, might have to go back and check that, but yeah, something to think about. Something to think about. If you open cards, uh, if you open sealed and stuff, as we're uh, already through three hangers, we have three remaining. But um, you should do a PC video if you open up cards. I think it's important. Obviously, not all the time because our collections don't grow that fast if you're just trying to sell stuff and all that. But um, if you haven't done one before, definitely because I want to see. And let me know. Uh, pretty much something we could leave in the comments is something just uh, what is your favorite card in your PC? I know what mine is, but I'm going to save it. It's an easy choice for me, but um, I'm going to save that for the video whenever I do it because I think it's something that I hadn't show in my last year's PC because my last year's video was mainly just my New York Knicks cards. I don't even think I included Chris Paul, who is my favorite player of all time, who I have mainly PC. If you have any cool Chris Paul cards, I'm very interested. Um, but yeah, I don't think I included... I maybe did. Honestly, I don't. I don't remember. There's probably going to be the MVP, Shohei, right there. I know they're running back the buyback, which is sweet. Um, definitely going to have to keep all the Acuna and Shohei cards, as we had a Jorge Polanco on the Rainbow Foil. And then we get a Mike Trout 88, Raldis Chapman, um, and then just a ton of the coolers. Corbin Carroll on the stars of the MLB. The only bad thing is, I will say, about the flagship series is the fact that you get stuck with so many stars of the MLB. I wish they'd make them a little less abundant uh, whenever you're opening them, because I'm just not the biggest fan of getting so many. And then it kind of kind of diminishes the value of it, as I totally just clicked off and thought I may have accidentally stopped recording. <laughs> that scared me. Because I'm so bad at editing videos, I feel like I would make like a terrible cut. But uh, we got two hangers left. No auto, no relic, or anything crazy just yet. Which is kind of a bummer. And no really crazy number cards. But man, I was trying to get a hold of um, 22 Bowman, like everybody else. But I was getting a hold of it to open, as opposed to the, the hold value and uh, stuff like that. But I really wanted to open some up to chase some Ellie. 
and jeez, uh, talk about a price a price increase. That stuff was sitting on shelves for like months, and now I can't even find it. And then when I do find it, it's for like eighty dollars for a mega. So, I mean, I'm not paying that, obviously. You know, if you guys have any, uh, you should definitely hold it. But for me, I wanted to just open it up. As we get Hensley right there, and it's really looking pretty dry for this patch of hangers. The last ones I opened on my own time, it's like four or five. We got an auto. It wasn't a great auto, but we got an auto. Um, what else? We got a relic out of there. I remember that. And that's, that's where I got the gold SSP, so I probably should have recorded that, but that's how it goes. It's always the off-camera stuff that I do really well on. And uh, we get a Alejandro Kirk. You probably hear my dog's about to start barking because my brother's home. It looks like we get a rainbow foil of Francisco Alvarez. There we go. That's a hit. Rainbow foil of one of the better rookies in this class, but there's so many good rookies in this class. That's why I'm excited for Chrome to come out, really, as we get an 88 Mookie Betts. Acuna on the record card or whatever the statistics i like the cards i wish they made those uh something cooler I, I really wish just inserts were a little more um rare you know what i'm saying i really wish that they were a little more rare and that would make pulling them a bit more exciting because now you know you see the same you see the same uh record cards over and over again or you see the same statistic cards it just gets a little boring i don't know me personally I like looking at them, but after you look at them 50 times, or even with the uh, stars of the MLB, you look at them three times per pack minimum, sometimes even four, and for me, one time nine. Um, it just gets a little old. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But we're on the final hanger. Uh, Francisco Alvarez Rainbow Foil. That's sick. That done. Uh, we may have to take a look at that. That looks like really clean. But that's uh, the first Rainbow Foil of a top rookie that I've ever gotten. I know my dad got uh, Volpe out of a hanger, so he did very well in his hanger, um, but me, that's probably my best rainbow foil rookie I've ever pulled, maybe we got Framder on the back, there we go, franchise baby, <laughs> but uh, let's open up the last hanger of the day, as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, it means the world to me, uh, we're just opening whatever let me know if there's something you want me to open i know our last video was select megas for basketball if you haven't checked that video out and you like watching basketball cards being opened go ahead and check that out for me um means a lot as well um if you want me to open up the blasters of that also let me know because i saw those today whenever i went and got these uh, i'm gonna get them from target though because walmart has them up by like six bucks where i live i don't know if that's everywhere but yeah let me know i'll definitely go and get those i had a fun time opening them the other day Get Stone Garrett, Gabriel, Gabriel Arias, sorry about that. Rafael Ortiz on the retail blue. And it looks like we are getting a rainbow foil of Connor Joe. Hey, an 88 design of Corbin Carroll. That's another decent hit. Andrew McCutcheon on the favorite sun. I guess it's just wherever you're from, so Florida. It's cool. And some more stars of the MLB. Sick. Love the stars of the MLB cards. <laughs> I just get a little tired of getting them. That's all. That is all. But I think I'm going to go through a thing where I only open stuff on camera because I get super good luck when I'm not recording. Like, it's crazy. And I want to carry that luck to over here because today's opening wasn't too, too bad. But I really wish we got some sort of awesome numbered parallels. We're going to go ahead and do a recap. But yeah, guys. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. I had fun opening. Uh, may not have gotten anything too, too crazy, but get a Senga rookie. 88 design of Corbin Carroll. Rainbow foil Alvarez. I mean, that looks pretty clean to me. The edges, it's centered. Um, it looks, looks good. Looks really good. Maybe on the edge. It's got like a little edge wear maybe, but looks good to me. Corbin Carroll. Jordan Walker. Senga again. Stars of the MLB. Corbin Carroll. Yoshida Outman. Granky Rainbow Foil, uh, Rosario on the red stars, I don't really know what to call it, out of 199, Young, Alvarez again, Walker, Senga again, getting a lot of Sengas, big fan of that, and to top it all off, a Corbin Carroll base rookie. Tons of Corbin Carrolls, tons of Jordan Walker, Sengas, Alvarez, one Young, I would call that a successful opening, uh, as far as the bare minimum gets, I think we did pretty good. 
So, uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.